Christmas today, I'm going to be opening up my latest fairy loot. Uh, this is, once again, the adult and YA book only crate. So, inside I should have two books. And I can't remember where I am now. If I am on the October one. I think so, because the way like that it ships out, I think I'm on October. I think I've gotten August and September. This is October. And I think the November one just shipped. I think it'll tell me inside of here too, I'm pretty sure. There's usually the card. I'm just being careful so I don't spill the peanuts all over everything. I'll just dissolve those later. I do like that they use the eco-friendly peanuts that they're just made from cornstarch so they dissolve in water. It's much better for everyone. So once again, two books. I'm not sure which is which. They always come in their little sleeves that say happy reading. Um, I'm imagining that this thinner one is the YA one, but I could be wrong. And then inside... Last time I lost the card. <laughs> but I've got it this time. So inside is the little card. Uh, it does give away the book, but the book is like right there, so it doesn't matter. Yep, this is the book only young adult book, uh, young adult box. This is the October 2023 Enchanted Forest book pick. And the book is The Forest Grimm by Catherine Purdy. And it looks lovely. No idea what it will be like. Oh, it looks like R Little Red Riding Hood there. Also, reveal underneath. There's underneath the cover. And the naked book, which is beautiful. I want to see if there's anything else special. Nice. Uh, it's beautiful. And inside there is the art card with the letter from Catherine Purdy about the book. Let's see what this one is about. Once upon a time, villagers would whisper their desires to the Book of Fortunes, and its pages would reveal how to obtain them. All was well until someone used the book for evil. Afterward, the branches of the forest grim snatched the book away, and the village withered. The villagers tried to make amends with the forest, but every time someone crossed its border, they never returned. Despite the warning from her fortune teller grandmother, Claire embarks on the journey into the deadly forest to procure the Book of Fortunes, to reverse the curse and save her mother and village. Claire's friend Axel puts aside his longing for her to join the journey. The young travelers have set their minds to defying fate and daring to accomplish what no one else has been able to before. Alas, the forest, alive with dark, deadly twists on some of our most well-known fairy tales, has a mind of its own. And this is a spellbinding new fantasy from the number one New York Times bestselling author, Catherine Purdy, where fairy tales come to life with dark, deadly twists. So seems interesting. I do like fairy tales and fairy tale retellings, so hopefully I enjoy this one. I just noticed the um, the under the cover title. Of course, it's not the title of the book, but I believe this would be the book that they're looking for? Question <laughs> mark? So, that's, that is pretty cool. I like that. Hopefully it's good. So far I have enjoyed the um, teen books. I think I've gotten through all of the teen ones. I think I only have like one of the adult book only books um, outside of these that I haven't done yet. And I feel like so far so good. I think it's been a successful pick of books. Like they're not like my absolute favorites ever, but they haven't been terrible either. At least books I could get through. <laughs> and now for the adult only book. I 
Dear Nemesis. Oh yeah. Okay, so the October 2023 one for the book only adult, adult book was My Dear Nemesis. That is amazing. And this is The Hurricane Wars. This was wow, that's really nice. I feel like I saw this recently, <laughs> not realizing that it was this. <laughs> so interesting, interesting. Let me pull off the cover. Nope. Oh, okay, so nothing underneath this one. <laughs> which is fine. But here is the book itself. anything else. Okay, so let's read what this one's about. Taliesin was left on the steps of Sardovian orphanage, of a Sardovian orphanage as a baby. All she has ever known is the hurricane wars, as her people fight for freedom from the tyranny of the night emperor Garrus. We'll go with Garrus, I have no idea. <laughs> but are they truly her people? Taliesin dreams of one day finding where she comes from, her family and the source of the magic that flows through her veins like sunlight. Alaric of House Ocean, oh, wait a minute, Ocinas. I, I don't, uh, Ocinas? Ocinas? I, I don't know. Master of the Shadow Forge Legion and Garrus's only son and heir, has been honed into a weapon by his father, tasked with obliterating the neighboring Sardovian Allfold. Alaric focuses on only one goal, extinguish all threats to the Night Empire. With his armies and his st storm ships, there we go, <laughs> with his armies and his storm ships and his shadow magic. That is, until he sees Taliesin burning brightly on the battlefield with the same light magic that slew his grandfather, turned his father into a monster, and ignited the decade-long hurricane wars. He tries and fails to kill her, Something about her making him pause, allowing his now greatest enemy to slip through his fingers. But a new horror emerges from across the Eversea, one that promises to cause even more devastation than the Hurricane Wars. Only Taliesin and Alaric can stop it. Will these mortal foes be able to come together, or will they end up destroying each other and dooming their world in the process? I am guessing this is more like romanticy, which has been, I feel like, the... All of the fairy loot books that have come in so far, I feel, are more like romanticy than uh, strictly like fantasy. I'm just checking out the back here. Okay, it doesn't really say anything different. <laughs> So I will see how it goes and possibly do reviews for these ones. I don't know when I'll get to them. Um, it depends on how free my reading time is, but I will eventually because I do not want to just buy books to not read it. Like I, They're just not going to sit there. Here is the art card for this with the letter on the back. I just noticed like a little, little thing on here about swooning over Han and Leia from Return of the Jedi. <laughs> Yeah, I think this might be interesting. So there we have it. The lovely books from the October Fairy Loot. My November ones have shipped out, so I don't know, probably in another week or so I'll get them in and then eventually <laughs> open them up. But I always tend to get them like the month after, so probably... I'll get them beginning of December, well, end of November, beginning of December, so it's fine. I do love, I love how they look. Those edges are gorgeous. Anyway, I'm not going to wax poetic on that. That is all for this. Uh, again, once I read them, I'll probably do a review uh, just to, you know, see whether this is worth it. I don't know how long I'll stay getting fairy loot. I was figuring at least a year. Uh, just to see what it's like, what kind of books I'm getting, and whether or not it's worth it. Uh, so far I've only done three months, getting my fourth month in, so we got some time. But that is it for this video, until next time, bye.